Kristen O'Connor and I'm here at the 2016 Anime Expo in downtown Los Angeles. There is a lot to see. Let's check it all out. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about your characters. Uh, we are the Evolution Group, but we're doing Kawaii Kimono Edition. Um, we actually have a full group of nine. They're just we're kind of waiting for everyone to trickle in. But um, I'm Jolteon and I'm Flareon. And I'm Sylveon. I love the names. I love Sylveon. Wow. <laughs> How long did it take to make your costume? Um, this one took me about four to five hours. Wow. Yeah. What about what about you? Um, probably like six or seven hours. And you all have colored contacts. Do you also? No, those are your real eyes. Real eyes. Yeah. <laughs> For sure, these are our real eyes. Skylar has purple eyes. Yes. Purple. Purple contacts. I'm a contact hoarder. I have like probably about five or six at this point. That's awesome. Well, I love your costumes. Thanks for the interview. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, thank you. So tell me a little bit about your character. Well, this is Ferris from Final Fantasy V. It's the Amano version. I was inspired since Yoshitaka Amano was a guest here. I made this costume a few years ago, but I thought I need to bring it back out for his appearance. I love it. Is this your first anime expo as this character? Yes, this is the first time I brought it to this convention. Can you do a spin for us? Sure. I love it. So what's your favorite thing about her? She is one badass pirate. Like, she's a princess, but she renounces her princessy to be a pirate, and she's so just a really tough, awesome chick, and she passes for a dude, and that's kind of cool, too. What's the first thing you would do if you were her? I would definitely go find my partner in crime, the sea dragon, Sildra, and we'd go travel those seas. <laughs> We're going to go look for Sildra. We'll see you later. So can you tell us a little bit about your awesome costume? Oh yeah, um, this is from Love Life. Uh, I'm Kotori this Hi. Uh, so it is really as you can see, like a Chinese golden pattern, and it's really cute. Yeah. Will you do a spin for us? Yeah. Where did you find it? Did you make it? Um, actually, I did it. Uh, it's a lot of work, but I got it custom made. Yeah. So. Mm. Have you been to Anime Expo before? Um, this is my third year, actually. So I'm really excited. Yeah. What has been your favorite part of Anime Expo? Oh. Um, okay, so it's today I'm meeting a voice actor. So I think I've been waiting for this day actually. What's your favorite thing about your character? Fire type. I am totally a fire type, totally disobedient. You don't have enough badges to control me. The loving Pokemon since before I could read. Just the overall poster child, best starter of them all. Love so. it. Can you do a spin for us? A spin. <laughs> How did you make your costume? How long did it take? A month. This is the first costume I've ever made. Oh, wow. So, and it took a month to the grind all the way to the cosplay, so. What is everything made out of? EVA foam and like plastic dip, and this is made out of Warbler, which is a uh, high temp, like plastic, so. Is this your first or second anime? Th this is my first anime expo, and second different con that I've been to. I'm from North, we went to Fanime, but I've never been to something so big, so. I've never expected to get this much attention, so it's really nice. Who are you here today as? I love it. So I'm uh, Lapis Lasley from Steven Universe. Lovely. Yeah. Um, uh, it took a bit to get into it. Uh, thankfully, we used arm socks instead of painting, but uh, the paint we did wasn't like the best quality, so it's chipping a little bit. But uh, thankfully, the, the character has a cracked version when her gem gets cracked, and just like her skin's cracks and everything, so it works a little bit. How does her gem get cracked? Um, she, they find her cracked because um, uh, she was stored away in a mirror for a long time, and her gem got cracked and all that. Where are you from? I'm actually from up north. I live, uh, I live near Oakland, so yeah, it was about a five-hour drive to get down here. When do you eat? Oh yeah, my 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 costume handle. My my name is Autumn Breeze. Um, you can find me anywhere if you type in Autumn Breeze CP. I pretty much use that everywhere. Yep. I have some twins with me. Who are you? What are your costumes? I am Rolo from Magical Girl Apocalypse, and I'm Coco. Hi, Rolo and Coco. Can you give us a spin? <laughs> 
So what's your favorite thing? About your costume. Uh, that I made it. <laughs> We crunched it in like two weeks. So it only took you two weeks? Yeah. Wow. I love them. And what's your favorite thing about your character, Coco? They kill people. Can you tell me a little bit about your characters? Uh, actually, we are from a Chinese game called JX3. It's very popular in China. Nice. Yeah. Are all of you from China? Uh, yes, we are all Chinese. Yes. Do you live here in Los Angeles? Yeah, but we are local. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How long did it take you to make your costumes? Uh, actually, partial is not like uh, made by us. Partial we bought them, and yeah, with some materials, accessories we made those. So it's like a combine. It's not too long. Yeah, yeah. So can you tell me each of your characters' names? Uh, mine is uh, Ming Jiao. Mine is Tian Ce. Mine is Qi Xiu. Qi Xiu. And what does each character do? Mine is like a tank. It's basically uh, with the swords and yes, a pure tank. But it's a female, yeah. My character is to help him <laughs> yes, attack and uh, kill those big boss, then let other people come here to kill the boss. <laughs> do you also attack? Oh no, I'm like a support, like a uh, healing. Uh, healing people, yeah. Oh, you heal people. Mm. How do you heal people? Like, <laughs> just like this. Mm. I love it. I'm Caitlin O'Connor, and this was the 2016 Anime Expo. So many people dressed up. It was an amazing time, and I saw lots of awesome cosplays. And I'll see you guys next year.